to write the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NaCl, we'll use these rules here. So first thing, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. Turns out this is already balanced. We don't need to do anything to this equation. Next, we need to write the states. So AgNO3, that's aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. NaCl, dissolved in water. Then AgCl, that is not soluble in water. So that's going to be a solid and NaNO3, sodium nitrate, that dissolves in water. At this point, we're going to split the soluble compounds into their ions. So if it has AQ, that means that it's soluble. If it has an S, it's a solid, so it's not dissolved. So let's split these up. Ag, that's silver, that'll have a plus charge. Then NO3, that's the nitrate ion, that has a one minus charge. Na, that's in group one on the periodic table, has a positive one charge, plus Cl, that has a negative charge. So those are our reactants. Then our products, let's write them down here. AgCl, that's a solid, so it's not going to dissolve. So we keep that together, AgCl, plus we know that sodium, that's Na, plus, and the nitrate, that was NO3, minus. And I didn't write the states after each of them at this point, because the next step is to cross out the spectator ions. So we see that we have an NO3, the nitrate ion, on both sides. We can cross that out. Sodium, we can cross that out. And this is going to leave us with our net ionic equation. And that's going to look like this. So this is the correct net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NaCl, that's silver nitrate, plus sodium chloride. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.